A while ago, I made a tutorial on how to make a moleskin style notebook. Since then, many of you have asked how to add a pocket to it. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to add an expandable pocket to the back of your book. I still use the original book I made from the tutorial, and it has held up pretty well. If you're wondering why some of those pages look so wrinkly, uh, somehow my drink always sweats onto my pages as I'm writing in it. Anyway, if you want to make this book for yourself, check out this tutorial here, or you can also find the link in the description below. For a quick and easy way to add a pocket, you can glue an envelope to the inside cover. You can choose to leave the flap or cut it off. Or you can make an expandable pocket like this. Here's a list of materials and tools I'll be using to make one. First off, I'm using two 8.5 by 11 inch sheets of paper. You may need to adjust some of the measurements if your book is not the same size. I want a small border around the pocket, so I'm going to trim off half of an inch on one sheet of paper. Then fold it in half and run a bone folder along the edge. If you don't have a bone folder, you can check out these substitutes here or see the link in the description below. Now score a line 3 fourths inch from the open end. And then fold those flaps inward. And cut the ends at a slight angle. When this is folded, you should have about a fourth of an inch border around the pocket. Set that aside and cut the other piece of paper in half. Take one half and cut that in half to form two small pieces. Starting with one, fold it in half. And then fold the sides in half like this. Do the same thing with the other small piece. Now glue them to the larger piece. I'm using Elmer's Craft Bond Extra Strength glue stick. You can use other types of glue made for paper, but I like this type because it's strong, acid free, dries fast, and it won't warp your paper. Glue the outer flap onto the side of the pocket and make sure the middle zigzag is folding toward the inside of the pocket. Then glue the top flap over. Glue the ends of the flaps to the other side of the pocket. and glue that top flap over. Finally, glue the entire pocket to the inside cover. Now you have an expandable pocket. I find it really helpful for loose Pantone chips, swatches, or business cards. In the comments below, feel free to share what types of things you keep in yours. For more tutorials, be sure to subscribe and check out my channel. You can learn how to make the book I used in the video on the left. And to add an elastic band to a book you already have, check out the video to the right. For more Sea Lemon, follow me on the links in the description below.